What a pleasant matchup for us in the Monday night game at Dodger Stadium. Brad Penny and Clayton Kershaw. Hey, Brad Penny's a former Dodger. Maybe the National League format. Yeah, he's a, uh, yeah. Find through. Well, he was their ace one. Yeah. When, when did, uh, yeah. has Brad Penny pitched for another America League team? Boston. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Didn't go so Yeah, well. yeah, he pitched for Boston. He pitched for I mean, St. He... Louis. He pitched for St. Louis. Yeah. For eight starts before yeah. he got hurt. Dodgers, Marlins were in there somewhere. Yeah, won the World Series with the Marlins. Won the World Series with the Marlins. Beat the Yankees. Mm-hmm. In the future former Tiger rotation dynasty. <laughs> that included Dontrell Willis, Brad Penny. Uh, Mark Redman was in that okay. rotation. He was once a Tiger, once a few. Former Tiger, yes. future Royal, Mark Redman. Future All-Star. I remember the days of... <laughs> uh, Carl Pavano was yeah, in that Carl rotation. Yeah, Carl Pavano. Carl Pavano was... A.J. Burnett Tiger. was hurt that whole year. A.J. Burnett was hurt. Josh Becker was in that of rotation. Of course. Drafted by current Tigers general manager, David Dombrowski. In Florida? Mm-hmm. In Florida. A lot of that team was, yeah, Dave Dabrowski was the architect of the 03 Marlins. It's no wonder that, I mean, if you, if you ever look at the 03 Marlins and think, holy crap, a lot of these guys that are former Tigers or ended up being Tigers. The whole Miguel, the whole Miguel to... Cabrera thing, I mean, just to see just to see him go from this skinny little outfielder who won a World Series to what he is now, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. You can watch him in the 03 yeah. World Series and he doesn't like he doesn't look no no and he was an outfielder he was he's a left still, fielder wasn't he yeah i mean he wasn't really defensively adept at it but it's not like he yeah. was huge at that point yeah you had pavano you had penny you had redmond you had willis you had beckett so three of those guys ended up have wore the tigers kyle pavano mm-hmm. almost did they actually outbid the yankees for him but mercifully he turned them down <laughs> he wanted to go pitch in new york okay he wanted to pitch in new york Ugi Urbina was on yep. that team Ugi Urbina was turned into Placido Polanco. Pudge was on that team. Pudge was on that yep. team. Pudge was on that team. Juan Encarnacion oh, was I on didn't, that team. Yeah, didn't... He <laughs> was. You know who else was on that team? Juan Pierre. Yes! Juan <laughs> Pierre was on that team! Uh... Juan Pierre was their yeah, leadoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juan Pierre and Luis Castillo were their front with the first two hits. I love the 2003 Marlins just because, you know... There's just so much history what the after the Marlins. <laughs> I mean, you look at a team like yeah. the Mavericks, I don't think anybody from the 2010 Mavericks is going to go on and, and do anything. I mean, you look at Dirk. Ray Looper was on that Yeah, team. that's right. Ray Looper. Jeff Conine. Well, Jeff Conine came, from, came back from Baltimore. Jeff Conine as the, home, the hometown yeah, hero. The Jeff true Conine. Todd, Todd Hollinsworth. Right. Mike Lowell was on that team. Before a Boston yeah. made him famous. Alex Gonzalez. We all remember Alex Gonzalez. Of course. Derek Lee. Derek Lee was on that team? Derek Lee was on that team. Before oh. he was a cop. No way. The other thing, yeah, that's that's what also makes it hilarious about the NLCS is how many of those guys end up, like, being yeah. cops. <laughs> it ended up screwing yeah. them over. Blue, uh, Derek Lee ended up going. Hey, Derek Lee was almost the MVP I, for the Cubs. Dontrell Willis was drafted by the Cubs. Right. I gotta pull up the 2003 Marlins because you're you're. I thought I knew everyone. Tim Spoonie Barker, my favorite baseball. Well, I was never gonna know that. Burnett. Yeah, Burnett, Burnett was, was on that team. Um, Burnett made. Burnett made four starts. Yeah. For that team, none of them in the postseason. Let's see. Yeah, Brian Looper was on that team. I don't even recognize that in the bullpen. I mean, they had Brian Looper, and then the other guys are like, what? Wow. <laughs> Mike Mordecai. Another cup. Yeah. Another cup. Mike Redmond went on to have an illustrious career as Joe Maurer's Oh, that's right. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny Harris was on that team, man. Look at that. Look at that lineup, though. One through eight. They had a Pudge, Derek Lee, Luis Castillo. Their, low, their worst hitter hit 254, and that was Todd Hollinsworth. And that was a rental. Yeah. Alex Gonzalez was there for his defense, and he still hit 18. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
No, yeah. I mean, what my point was with the 2003 Marlins. I mean, you look at it. You look at players that were sold off and did things elsewhere. I mean, Beckett yeah. went to Boston and Lowell went to Boston and that kind of stuff. But I mean, of the of the last like maybe 15 champions, none fascinate me more than the two Marlins mm-hmm. teams. Just because of you know how they both essentially got blown up right after their line. Right. Well. It's- I mean, you can go back and look at the 97 Marlins, too, and it's mm-hmm. the same way. Remember the week that Mike Piazza was a Florida Marlins? Oh, wow. <laughs> In 1998. They traded for I don't remember they traded for him, but then they traded him to the Mets for A.J. Burnett. Mm-hmm. It's like the never-ending cycle. I mean, you, you look at... I mean, Luis Castillo is a link between those two teams. Renteria. Renteria was a rookie that year, yeah. yeah. Art- yeah, you know, 20 years old, he went on to be a Cardinal. Gary playing. Sheffield and Moises yeah. Alou. Gary yeah. Sheffield, Moises Alou, yeah. And there's the Cubs mm-hmm. back here. Bobby Bonilla. Yep, Bobby Bonilla was on that team. Bobby Bonilla. Kevin Brown was oh, on wow. that team. Yeah, you're right. Al Leiter. Al Leiter was on that team. <laughs> Rob Men was on that team. Yeah. Levon Hernandez, of course, the rookie phenom, who went on to have two crappy starts in the World Series, but he won them both, so that guy... And he's still pitching! <laughs> still <laughs> pitching? I think he's the only one from this team still going. I mean, you, I mean you've got Renneria, there's, you know... Yeah, Renneria is... I mean, pitching-wise, Renneria is yeah. still going. Um, I think that's it. Greg Zahn was still going full. Cliff Floyd retired a couple of years ago. Katze! Katze's right there. Katze only played in 14 games, 